Today, for the first time ever, we're going to be freeze-drying some of my favorite candies ever. Now, I've never done any kind of freeze-drying, so for those of you who don't know, basically freeze-drying is also known as astronaut food. And the process is, I'm not gonna go into the detail of the process, but basically they remove all the moisture from the food so that it can preserve for a long time. And some of these foods can keep well up to 25 years and still keep all their nutrients, still keep everything that was delicious about them on the day that you actually froze dried them. And the images of the foods that you're seeing on the screen here are basically freeze dried? Fro fro frozen driven? <laughs> They look like normal foods. You just have to put a little bit of warm water, depending on what it is, and it'll just rehydrate and be exactly as fresh, I think. I'm not sure. I have made an entire video of trying freeze-dried food, so I will link that down below. It's a really old video. But on TikTok, it's become way more popular in the last few months to see freeze-drying candies. Now, I know it's not a new thing, but the reason why freeze-drying candies has become so popular is because they change so much. Even the King of Random did a gummy worm. Here's the thumbnail of their video. And you can see that the shape changes dramatically. And of course, we're gonna be doing many different kinds of gummies today. So you know what we need to do? We need to go shopping. So we just got to a place called... Bonbon Ryan's. Bonbon Ryan's. And apparently it's a pretty big candy store. We've been there many years ago, but we haven't been there since. Mm -hmm. They so. have a lot of bulk stuff over there. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to see what they have currently. Yeah, I'm really excited. So let's see what we can free. I want my... <laughs> Oh my Coke. I know, he loves Coke, 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 Coke gummy, gummy cola. Yeah. Gummy cola. All right, let's go see. Here's Ryan's bonbons. Looks so vintage. All right, let's go. Okay, this is ridiculous. Look at all the gl <laughs> Oh my God, this is just half of it. Let me go show you more because this is ridiculously. Look here, there's more over there. So there's quite a bit to choose from. Oh my God, this is gonna so much damage. So we'll start off with some peach gummies. I think that's always a good one. I'm really curious about these, so that's gonna be interesting. Of course, Skittles. Oh yeah, gummy cherries. Oh, citrus slices. Yes. <laughs> Pat's favorite. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I didn't even have time to reach for it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> yes, absolutely gummy worms. And why not a frog? Now, since this is going to be a series of experimenting. Let me know your favorite kind of candies or gummies or snacks or chocolates that you want me to try. I will try to find as many of them as possible and do them in a future video. And while you're down there leaving that comment, if you're new here, make sure that you do subscribe. Otherwise, I will wave a sharp pointy thing at you. Don't worry, it's very gentle. A little gentle. However gentle you want it to be. <laughs> Click on all notifications while you're there. So as you can see on my desk, we have nine different kinds of candies. Everything from Skittles, gummy worms, the stringy things. And I have to say, I really do love these citrus slices. So I'm curious how those are going to do. I really wanted to get peach rings, but they actually ran out of peach rings. So I got these peach circles. And I have to say, I'm actually pretty excited about the gummy frogs and the gummy cola. I don't know how big these are gonna get. I'm not even sure how much I'm supposed to space them. So we're gonna see. And of course I saw the gummy bunnies. The person who was there was like, do you want some Easter stuff? I'm like, not really. And she's like, look at these bunnies. I'm like, well, I know I got them. So basically my goal for today is to see which gummies drastically change when freeze dried. And also I'd kind of like to know what the texture and the flavor feels like, because I feel like not enough people give enough detail about the texture and the flavor. Now that store that I went to actually used to be a bulk area, but since things have changed, they figured no more touchy touchy. They were gonna package everything. Wow, that smells good. I haven't had gummy worms in a long time. Mmm, oh that is good. Okay, let's get to work. Now I don't know why my salt shaker in the back is red because, I mean, I'm supposed to be having fun today. Salt shaker, can you please change for me? Thank you so much, I appreciate you. You are definitely part of my soul now. And we're going to start with our first tray. Now, usually you're supposed to put them and make sure that all the weights are more or less the same, otherwise it's gonna take a little longer to freeze dry or some of them might not freeze dry. We're gonna find out. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Worst case, we're gonna weigh them and add a little bit more candy here and there. And for the first tray over here, what I want to do are popular ones. So I definitely know that these cherries are technically a popular one also worldwide. Most everyone most around the world has seen a cola gummy you may or may not 
like them, but you've seen them. And the gummy worms. Now I'm really worried about these ones specifically because from what I've briefly read online is that they grow a lot. So I don't know how many to put or how much I'm supposed to space them. So we're gonna start with our weird cherries. I really thought they would look nicer, but they kind of look like something else to me, so I'm not sure how I feel about this. They look like a pepper. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. So since we do have three trays and nine candies, it makes sense to put three on each one. And I did see that for the King of Random, it did get really, really big. So I don't know if this is too much in terms of how much we're putting. So we're gonna find out together if they poof up a lot or not. So we're just, we're spacing them out respectfully. Okay, that's what I'm doing. And now for the item I'm most scared of is the gummy worm. How big will it get? I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm only going to put three. I think I'm pretty scared. <laughs> Hang on, let me check online. Oh my god, they, they do get pretty big. So apparently here's the image of the before and after of how it may look like. By the way, if you are curious about freeze dry candy, I've seen people sell them on Etsy and they are so expensive per bag because you only get like five candies in there or eight candies in there and it's like $15. So am I saving money? Probably not. This machine was quite the expensive. So here's what my first tray looks like. For the second tray, we're going to go with yet another popular item and then some funny shapes. And according to online brief research, because I want to keep some surprises for myself, apparently these don't puff up that much, but apparently they're excellent. So I'm just gonna, just gonna put them like that. There, you know what? Let's do them all. I don't think they puff up much. And then my favorite citrus gummies. I'm gonna put a few of you. I have to be careful not to get overconfident. I have to really give them space. And worst case, next time I know exactly how puffy they get, so I can make a lot more. And then these ones. I have a feeling they're just gonna be crunchy. I don't think they're gonna get big, but then again, we don't know that. Let's put one of each color. Oh, these are, these are long. These are very long. <laughs> okay. Let's just put them. I don't know how to put these. What if they get really big? Okay, we're not gonna put huge ones. <laughs> we're gonna put one strand like a saw. Tear it up. There we go. These are licorice, by the way. They're just fruit flavor, I think. What do these taste like? <coughs> like nothing. They're not the greatest licorice I've had, but they're colorful. And we'll put that one here. Hey, I just noticed they're actually the primary colors. And now we're gonna go with the shapes because I mean, everything is a shape, but we're gonna go with them froggies. So we're gonna put, I have to remember to space them. So let's just put three. I have a feeling these might puff up quite a bit. I don't know, they're just very chonky. So I'm not sure what to expect. I don't think there's a jelly on the inside, but we'll do a comparison taste test after it's done. Then we have the bunnies, which I did take some, well, I took one off camera. And it's actually more jelly than gummy, if that makes sense. It was a little bit more soft on the inside. So let's take at least one of every shape. We have a bunny face a sitting bunny and a bunny sitting in a different position. So we're gonna put at least, I would say one of each color, like so and like so. There, I feel like this tray doesn't have much going on. And then we're going to add the peach gummies. Again, I feel like these are probably going to be pretty gigantic, but I don't know. This tray feels very empty. It's like I started off with a lot of confidence and now I have none. <laughs> So here are my three trays. I ended up removing some of the cola gummy and the cherry gummy just because I need to keep some space in mind. I don't know what's gonna happen. This is my first time using my freeze dryer other than the test with the bread method where we're supposed to put wet bread in there and then just let it sit over there while it freeze dries and then we have to dispose of it. That's, that's, that's the only test I've had and now I'm just really nervous. Let's go ahead and put it in there. So the freeze dryer says it's ready. It's currently at 17 Fahrenheit. That's the sound it makes. Listen to that. It's actually not bad at all. All right, so let's load the trays. In you go, number one. In you go, number two. And last but not least, see y'all later. And now we have to wait and trust the machine to know what it's doing. And we have to wait anywhere between 16 to 20 hours. Yep, we'll be back right after these messages.
the next day. And here are my trays. I have to say, I expected them to be a little bit more poofy, but I think it really has a lot to do, not just with the brand of the candy, but also the type of candy. So I've seen gummy worms that have gotten really big, again, as you can see on the screen, and some of the cherry ones that got really big, again, as you can see on the screen. But mine didn't change drastically that much. However, here they are side by side. If we look at the cherry one, you can see the one that's deep, what's it called? Freeze dried and the ones that's regular. And the cherry one really looks radical. It has these bubbly type effect when you look closer on it and it did get bigger. But oh my God, if we're gonna talk about getting bigger, let's look at the cola gummy. Holy shrimp, putting those side by side made me realize that the freeze dryer really looks to make kind of a marbled type effect. And it does look bigger as well, comparatively. Next we have the gummy worms. Really, I expected these to get really big, but they just didn't. So I'm guessing it's going to have a lot to do with the brand, and that's the one I'm going to hunt for for next time. But again, we can see that type of marble kind of thing. And then the frogs, oddly enough, don't look that different from each other. The only thing that's really different is that the white part at the bottom expanded a lot more, and the top part, not so much. The bunnies, they look unchanged. They're basically looking exactly the same. But the peach gummies, if we look a little closer, it's harder to see the little speckles of sugar. And I feel like the colors blend a lot more nicely on the freeze dried one. Maybe it's me. I'm just seeing the colors look way prettier on that one. The Skittles are absolutely dramatic. I mean, look at them. They definitely popped, kind of like a popcorn type effect. And I'm loving that. I'm really curious if they're going to taste different though. The citrus slices look absolutely unchanged. I have no idea what to expect. They look exactly the same. And last but not least, the string type licorice, they look unchanged as well. So I don't know what to expect. I'm normally not the kind of person who likes sugars and sweets, so this is going to be an adventure for me because I don't like sugars very much. So here I am eating sugar just for the sake of it. And I definitely want to start with the ones that look the weirdest. So let's try the cherry, cherry one and... Oh, okay. That part's soft, very sticky. Oh wow. Look how airy it is on the inside. I feel like the stem is going to be crunchier. Look at that. All right, let's try the stem. Oh, oh, that is nicer. I definitely like the stem a lot more. Yeah, we're definitely getting a lot more crunch, but oddly enough, my teeth don't hurt. Usually when I eat gummies, it just feels a little too intense for me, but so far so good. Let's try the cola gummy, and let's also take a look at the inside. How's that gonna taste? Oh, that woke up. <laughs> that was quite the crunch. Look at that. The inside is also pretty airy and fluffy. And I feel like the smaller bits are better. Maybe I should have left it in there longer. Let's try that. Yeah, definitely has a crunch to it, but then it gets chewy very quickly. Maybe I should have dried it for longer. And just to give you an idea, so here's the freeze-dried gummy worm, and here's the other gummy worm. So this definitely holds its shape. You can see right here, it's not on the desk. This is the desk, this is it standing, here's a desk, and here's that one being all floopsy doopsy. All right, that one's floopsy. So let's go ahead and take a bite. I, everything is really soft though. They've been on the tray on my desk for about an hour. Does that make a difference? Let me know. So let's go ahead. Everything has a slight crunch, but now it's very gummy. It rehydrates very quickly, but it has like this beef jerky type of texture. And you can see there's still this air pocket type thing going on. Honestly, I feel like I should be keeping these much longer, so I think next time I'm gonna give them extra dry time. But I have to say, so far the flavors are more intense, but also less sugary, if that makes sense. Maybe it's just me. These ones are unchanged, so I don't know what to expect from them. So let's go ahead and take a bite. Yeah, tastes exactly the same. Yeah, unchanged, still good. Here we have the frog. Really, really hard at the bottom compared to this frog. So you could see like squishy and this one, no squishy, but the top is a little squishy over here, whereas this one can bounce. So let's go ahead and try the frog. Oh, that crunch. Oh. The bottom is almost powdery. So you can see the bottom really is very, very powdery. Interesting. We really have two different textures. We have the bottom, that's like powdered sugar, and the top. Oh, it's very, very hard to pull. Oh my God. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's hard. I can't say I like this one, but I do like the white part. The white part is really nice, has a nice crunch to it. 
Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not crazy about these. The bunnies are unaffected. Oh my god. Oh, I, you know what? I don't think jelly does very well. Look at that. Still very jelly-like. Anyone who has a freeze dryer, please educate me. Yeah, the jelly is exactly the same. Disappointed. So right now we're basically trying to figure out what freeze dries and what doesn't. Peach jelly, again, just a smidgen harder than the original. Taste-wise, still very soft. Yeah. I don't think jelly does very well. Disappointing. And then one of the most popular ones, the Skittles, where everybody raves about it and everyone's buying it online for really expensive. So let's give this one a try. I'm going to be expecting a crunch just because of what the inside looks like, but let's see. The most disappointing part will be if it's kind of goopy and droopy, but let's, let's try it out. Okay. Mm texture is exactly the same. Other than the fact that they look like popped popcorn, there's really no difference. So if any of you grains see these online and you're tempted to buy freeze-dried candy, do yourself a favor and only get the ones that are super poofy, like the cola ones and the super large gummy bears. These ones are very meh, kind of disappointed. They have a nice crunch, but they're exactly the same. And speaking of disappointment, these are extremely flexible and absolutely unchanged in the, dre in the dries fryer. <laughs> freeze dryer. So now we know that these kinds of licorice just do not freeze dry well. So let's let's go ahead and have a bite. Yeah, exactly the same. Just a string of sugar. So this experiment was actually really fun to make. I was so nervous trying a freeze dryer, but few lessons learned. Number one, if you see any freeze dried candy and it looks very similar to the original, don't buy it. Everything's gonna be exactly the same. But if it looks a little warped, as you can see here from the freeze dried and normal, like the cola or the cherry or the gummy worms, I think that could be a fun experience because you get like a Cheeto type texture. But then again, be warned, these are really expensive online, namely because the machine's pretty expensive too. I'm going to be more expensive Excited to try the second batch of sweets and we're gonna keep freeze drying them much longer so if you want to watch that make sure that you do subscribe if you want to watch something else in the meantime make sure you click up here if you want to catch some unboxings of mystery boxes make sure you click down here until then I will see you grains in the next video